Hi guys, welcome to a Tennille Teaches a Short. I'm going to be showing you how to set up your shot and kind of my process on how I do all this. So, for this map, it's a very simple animation. Remember, you don't need to be, uh, or need to have super complex animations all the time. Sometimes simple is best. And that's kind of what I was hoping to, to do with this part because, you know, they, they needed me to fill in for a backup and this map is just kind of waiting to get done. So, <clears throat> I wanted to get this part out to them pretty quickly. So here we have Thunder, and you'll notice that I'm drawing his whole body in here, even though you only see this much of him in the shot. Uh, this is important. I, I can't stress this enough. I see so many animators who don't uh, draw in the whole character, and then it kind of looks like the character is floating around the screen. If you draw in the whole character, and it doesn't have to be pretty, you know, just draw in the whole character, and then you have a nice solid foundation on where to move all your bits and pieces. So, you know, now when I move his head, I know directly where that connects back into his body and into his shoulders and into his neck. And same thing when I animate the feet later on, and, and I'll kind of talk about that when I get there. Now you'll see here I've only got about three drawings, and these are just my key drawings. Right now I'm working pose to pose, and I'm getting these key drawings exactly how I want them to be. And then below that a couple of layers, you'll see my camera. And my camera is sort of making up for the fact that I'm not animating a whole lot in this map part. So, you know, the, the camera moving around kind of gives more life to what would otherwise be a pretty dead shot if this was just far away and the camera didn't move. So the camera adds a little bit of life and uh, makes it easier on me so I don't have to animate more of Thunder moving when I really want it to be a very simple shot. So there's my third uh, key pose. And I'm just kind of cleaning up the line work here a little bit. Especially the parts that you're going to be seeing, you know, like I said, the stuff in the back um, with his body and his tail and his back legs and stuff, you know, you're never going to see that. So it's it's just there for me to look at when I'm moving him and animating him and I know that he is where I want him to be. And it doesn't look like, you know, his head and neck are floating around, uh, not connected to a body anywhere. So here I'm drawing in some, some of the background cats you see in the finished map. Uh, they're not the same colors. In Toon Boom, you can change the colors anytime you want. So I just kind of threw on some, some basic colors onto them to help me visualize what I wanted for this map part. So I get, I get them in there. And like I said, they're just kind of placeholders until I find exactly what I want. And so now I'm gonna go into the actual animating here. So here you can see, even though the, the paws are, are the only thing that's going to be in shot, I'm still drawing all the way up to the leg. And this just makes sure that my anatomy stays correct and that, uh, you know, I don't have any floating limbs. So even though you never see some of this stuff, it's always good to kind of draw back and see uh, where, where you want that all to be. It'll help you in the long run. And here you can see a frame that I ended up deleting just because I didn't like it. I, I had Thunder's paws connecting to the ground and I decided I didn't like how that looked. So uh, I drew in a different frame here where it's instead of a squat, it's instead a squash. And it's Thunder's paw squashing into the ground before it kind of settles into its resting final pose. And part of being a good animator is knowing when to throw away drawings, you know. You'll have hundreds of drawings that, that you'll either throw away or you'll end up not liking them. And so, you know, you just, you just get rid of them. And there's no problem in that. If a drawing's not good, there's no point in keeping it. Keeping it. Or as they would say in my art school, learn to kill your babies. If your art is your baby, then uh, you, you gotta learn to, to take it out and kill it every once in a while, as morbid as that may sound. 
So here I'm moving the head and you'll see that sometimes I draw in the frames and like here, here's a straight in between. Um, but other times I'll just, you know, take the selection tool and, and move the bits and pieces that are already there. This helps with consistency and it helps with uh, volumes the correct size. So, you know, I don't want Thunder to suddenly, suddenly go off model you know, I can just copy and paste those frames and, and move the bits that I want moved rather than trying to redraw the same thing perfectly with the same volume each time. Okay, and then that's just the uh, line art, or excuse me, my rough sketches. I didn't record the line art or the coloring because that's pretty basic stuff. I might do a video on those things in particular if you guys are interested in seeing that, but this is just for planning your shot. Remember, if your shot doesn't look good by the time you finish the rough drawings, it's not going to look good when you ink and color it. So, you know, always keep that in mind. A good shot is a well-planned shot. And here's the map part again for you guys. You just want to stay.